All right, guys, starting the video. Frank just slithered the baits. We're out of Stewart again today. Say well, hi, Dustin. Was Dustizzle. that slither the baits? Slithered. It slayed the baits. Yes. Get down, Frank. And we're at Bull Shark. It's Friday. And there's a bunch of bait at the Bull Shark Barge. We're just letting you know. There was no bait yesterday. And, uh, who is right here, Frank? Fill them up, Frank. They're coming. They're coming. Show everybody, Frank. Redeem Brian's yourself, Frank. All the boats are staring at us. I don't care. Look, Frank. <laughs> show, show them, Frank. <laughs> Can't get two more of these. We're going to be full of baits. I know. I'm trying to get Another to the bottom. Another couple dozen. I don't want those. Throw it on over the board, over the side, Frank. They suck. Yeah. Still Oof. marking them? It looks a little crazy when we got stringers of baits. Yeah. But uh, it's also, also one of the foggiest days I think we've ever gone fishing. Is it right, Dustin? See how foggy it is? Pretty foggy. It's actually much better now. Much but. better now, but when we first came out here, get down, Sizzle, right here. Yep. Maybe some sardines. Dropping, dropping, dropping. And uh, we're going to go offshore. We'll see what happens out there, but uh, I'm sure we're going to catch some great fish. Stay tuned. We're also going to tell you about our, our the giveaway we got going on for a free full day fishing trip with our Sizzle. Yes. And Stuart. And Brian. And, and me, I'll be there too. I'll tell you about that later. But we're gonna catch these baits and get out there. Oh, we gotta go. I think Darcy just got more fish than hooks. Nice fish. Get up here. All right, guys, we are at the uh, she went south of Loran Tower, which you can look up. Darcy got some good fish Get ready with that here. leader. What? Get ready with that leader. Okay. I'm scared of the S word. Get him up here, Sizzle. Strong. Okay, he's coming. <laughs> it's what we want. It's what we want. Woo, beauty, Darling. Getting smoked, getting smoked. I'm getting smoked up here. I gotta keep her mutton in the boat. <laughs> now top line's going off. Nice. All right. We found them. That's a nice way to start the day. Sorry I wasn't looking at you guys. <laughs> that was a nice way to start the day with the first fish being a keeper in the boat. What about that? Actually, that's my bad luck, isn't it? All right, this one's getting messed with. As soon as I picked that fish up, this one up on top took off a little bit. I, I had him. the bail open. It's getting fooled with a little bit. This could be a sail. Sizzle, grab this. Okay. It's going off to the side. I can feel the bait swimming. Maybe it's not playing with it anymore. I don't know. I'll check it. All right, leave it out and get, get fish. All right. Nice one, Sizzle. I think I can get that hook back. Hold on. That's a nice, what's it like? That's like a 20 inch fish, right? At least. That's sweet. Beauty. All right, there he is. Yeah, probably. Yeah, about 20 inch fish. Nice. A nice fish, beautiful. Awesome, a, a live pilchard on the bottom. And awesome. of course, I'm just matching the bait, the hook to the size of the bait. I'll show you guys in a second. He actually inhaled it, but that's okay. He's staying in the boat. And these guys don't get blown up in this shallow water we're fishing in, because they usually embolize and they, you know, their, their, their bladders expand coming to the surface. But this guy did not. He just fought all the way to the surface. Sick. Nice. Oh, come on. Those are tight nice again. fish, nice fish. Come on. Get the net. He's angling out to the back of the boat. Okay, still on another nice fish. Where is it? Your leader, your leader, leader. Another nice one, Sizzle. Put him in the net. Put him in the net. He's okay. Oh, careful. All right, just get him in, Brian. Woo! Found the beasts! Found the beasts! <laughs> That's right. a nice one. That's a stock. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I knew it was a nice fish as soon as he hit. That was sick. Brian's wrapped in the leader. All right. We got to get Frank down immediately so we can get more lines in the water here. But well, we found the biggins. This is a nice fish for around here. Look at that circle hook doing its job. I did not set the hook on that fish. He totally did that on his own. And uh, that should pop right out. He's very mad. Whipped him up super quick. That's a beauty for around here. Nice. That's a nice mutton. Beauty, at least a five pounder. Yeah. Look at that belly. He did embolize and get a little swollen there because I reeled him up so fast. I'm just trying to get him away from the S word. Don't want to jinx it. You know what the S word is. Brian will put it on the screen. Um, but anyhow, nice fish. Let's get some more. Be real. Frank's hooked up. Jeez, these muttons are chewing. Well, it looks like a big runner. Watch that. 
weight on my head, Frank. You're supposed to be grabbing it, frankly. Big runner. Wow, that's an AJ. Is it a little AJ? Yeah. Juvenile AJ. Oh no, that's a banded rudder fish. Is this? Those are delicious. Yep. That's huh. what they've been catching. 100% a banded rudder fish. Hmm. Big fish. Get him up, Sizzle. Now he knows he's hooked. Get up here. There's a weight. The mutton. Yeah. Wow, he fought. Are you still fighting? Wow, beautiful fish. Beautiful nice. fish. That's what I'm talking about. Another quality mutton in the boat. What about that? <laughs> Woo! They chewing. All right, get in the line right back down. Let's catch another. Frank, catch up. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> this is a throwing shade. Frank, catch up. <laughs> the live bait is just going to get thumped by giant fish. They love these nice pilchards one. today. I think he's a little smaller than that second fish I caught. Yeah, he's a little smaller than the second one. But he's still, good size. quality fish around here. Not complaining. Circle hook right in the corner. All right. Doing his job. Well, I'm going to have Darcy tell you all about her bottom rig once the bite calms down a little bit. So yes. you know uh, the high level bottom fishing rig she has. I'll post where we're catching these quality fish on the Fishing app as well. So you can come do this too. Yes, it's off Loran Tower. A uh, pretty well-known spot, but we'll give you the exact locations on the fish angle wrap. So here we go over here. Ooh, hooked up. You got a nice fish. Reel as fast as you can. Don't do, don't mess with that drag. Just reel. Get him up. There you go. You're doing good. You're doing good. He's real close. Go, 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 go. No stopping, Frank. Go, 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 go. There he is, color. Doesn't look like it's a mutton. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Fish just dove down again. Come on. It's like a, it's a banded rudder. Come on. Real, Frank. It's a banded rudder. It's a banded rudder. Yeah. Yeah. Another one. Slaying the banded rudder. Oh, here we go. I got him, I got him, I got him. The banded rudder fish. We have not caught those in quite a while. And they're, of course, yeah. Yeah, it's the same. And of course, they're a member of the Jack Carval, well, no, the Jack family. And they're actually really delicious. It literally looks like it's twin from before. Yeah. So another species, looks like that one's gonna keep. Nice, yeah, they gotta be, uh, weirdly, they gotta be 14 to 22, which is peculiar, but. So make sure he's under 22, Frank, to fork. Just a smidge over being a keeper. Really weird, they got a weird size limit, kind of similar to Snook where it's 28 to 32 inches. These guys got to be 14 to 22 inches to the fork length. Not a keeper, going back. All right, a lot of kingfish moved in. We're hearing some reports of a nice edge at 160 to 190 on our radio, VHF. So we're gonna move out there, see what we can do. Switching it up. Gotta keep moving. Gotta have it, when you go fishing, you gotta have a plan A, B, and C. Here's a, here's a quick diagram of Darcy's bottom rig. I know you, I told you we'd go over it. Basically, uh, long leader, 40 pound leader. Anything to say about that? Yeah, I've been using standard 40 pound leader. If it's a slow day, try to you know lower your tackle, go to a 30 pound and you're getting cut off a lot, maybe go to 50 pound. But 40 seems to work for me. And I think I just got lucky on those big muttons uh, first thing in the morning on an early morning bite and away from the S word. Really lucky, because we've just had a little, Couple other fish almost sharked. Yes. And Frank got another rudder fish. I'm not sure if you saw that. So, uh, very good. We eat those for dinner. I haven't had those in forever. Very good. All right, Frank, let's pull it up. We're going out. Let's do it. Big hammer coming right out the boat. Yeah, nice hammer. Come on, smell that. He's going for my bait, frankly. Ooh, for my he, bait. Just did, he just darted at 180. Yeah, hold, hold this. Going for my bait. Real, real, real from him. He's gonna chase it to the boat. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh. he's on it. He's on it. He's on I it. I know. Go, 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 Brian. Go. He got it. No, he didn't. Get it. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, he's chasing that bait. 
Dude, that's insane. Look how active that fish is. He just turned on a dime trying to get this bait. Here he comes. Whoa. He's not joking around. He's got his dorsal out and he is hunting in hunting mode. He just turned on it again. Reeling this. You grab that line real quick while I reel this up. I think a sail's eating it. I think a sail's eating this one. Our line might be tangled too. I just Salt. put two baits out. Big silver flash. Could be a king, but still going out, babe? No. No. Going out now. I'm going to close the bail. This one might be okay. There we yep. go. Sail on. I knew it. Here you go, Sizzle. All right, let's reel this up. Reel that one up, Frank. Sail on. No drag. There's no drag on that. All right, let's try to land them quickly with the sharks, all right? Yeah. Don't want to Frank, get reel that faster. Yeah, go fast as you and can. And we need to reel yours up. Get bottom rod up, let's too. Go. We got to back up on them fast. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, do you agree with me? Let's... Woo! Smoking it right now. All right, backing down on them. I just hope praying we can land this fish and he's going to be okay. This, the sharks have been relentless out here. They're just eating all the big fish. Giant amberjacks, sailfish, uh, you name it. They even tried to eat a mahi on somebody else's Mitch boat the other day. Where do you want it, to the side or the back? To the side. Yep. Back, right, up, back, up, back, back up, back up on the fish. That's how we didn't kill him. Woo! Still airing out. 10 minutes into the battle. All right, he's swimming with us. All right, banana to the left, Frank, so she can get line. Woo! That was so cool. I like that when they do that so close to the boat. It might have been too high, actually. He might have jumped out of my frame. Oh, my goodness. He's going to go again. Woo! Dude, I can't believe he has so much energy. Oh, sick! Oh! What? How does he have this much energy? Like, this fish will not let me catch him. All right, back up, Frank. Forward. There you go. That's good. There he is. The beautiful Atlantic Forward, sailfish. Frank. Forward, Frank. Whoa! Holy cow. That fish is nuts. I can't believe he's still jumping. In front of the fish. This fish is tired. I'm trying to get her to the boat. We're like, every time we're so close, it's just too far, and the fish takes All line again. You don't want them to wear out to the point where they're totally you know, a brown is usually a sign that tells you they're tired, but we just want to take care of our billfish and respect them. So we want to let him go, make sure he survives the battle. So here he comes, here he comes. Mm, grab it, grab it. You got it? Yeah, hook's on the side. I got the bill. Get the hook. Where is it? Keep that boat in gear. Let's get the boat in gear, Frank. On the other side, right here. It swallowed, cut it. All right, swallow, cut it, give me a knife. Cut it, quickly. Scissors. Cut me right here. Okay. Not cut, cut it again. Scissors just suck. Pull it tight, you gotta pull the line tight. Frank, pull that line. Okay. Get that off me, get that off me, get that rod off me. All right, guys, just took a couple quick snaps with that billfish or the sailfish right here. Um, this is definitely a full grown one, but about a month ago with uh, Brian's buddy uh, Mike, I hope you guys saw that video, we caught a freaking giant. It was so big, at least a foot or two bigger than this one. So let's let this beautiful fish go. Just making sure she's nice and ready. Make sure she's tail cooking strong, and she totally is. She's ready. One, two, three. Beautiful! That's what you want to see. You want to see them straight up and down like a normal fish would be and swimming right back down on the bottom. And that's exactly what we did there. Good job. That was good teamwork by everybody. Frank on the wheel and trying to get that fish in the boat and everything. And just with sharks in mind, it just really, like, you just want to get it done quick because you don't want to see a giant bull shark come up and eat that. And it could have happened at any time holding that fish on the side and getting that hook out. So, all right, let's get some more fish. Good job, Frank. Yes, good job, Frank. Woo! I usually yell at Frank for like 10 minutes while we're catching a fish, so I He yells at I, both of us. I yell at everybody. He yells at both of us. 
<laughs> he's really strict on me too. That, I'm super strict on her because she's gonna, she's gonna be leading the fishing industry after all you and I are all gone. He's the captain so, that yells at you. Captain should yell at you. That's how you get things done. They're leaders. Anyway, great job everybody. Frank, I'm sorry for yelling at you, but we did land a fish and we got some good, and uh, we have some good memories for later. Yes. All right, guys, we are back at the dock. Had a great day on the water. It was my, well, it was thanks to me that we caught all those beautiful muttons this morning. And then of course, wrapping it up with that beautiful sailfish at the end that swam away strong. That's always awesome. But I know you guys are most excited for the Hair Club fishing trip giveaway that we talked about in the beginning of this video. Yes. So we're gonna tell you how to enter. Yes. Now, hold on, even before we get to that, Dr. Sizzle, Hair Club is for men and women, whether you have hair, or no hair, okay? It's a full service salon, so everybody can use Hair Club, all right guys? Everybody can. <laughs> you can't say you can't use it, because you right. can definitely use it. <laughs> definitely. Just saying, we both go to Hair Club. If you get a haircut, you go to Hair Club, all right? Exactly. Any anyway, so you're gonna enter, we're giving away, in conjunction with Hair Club, a full day offshore fishing trip with their sizzle, okay? So you, is there gonna be a link? I'll put the link here, but of course, click the link. It's a clickable link in the description below, and click that, and you're gonna enter to win. There are some terms and conditions, so I wanna make sure that you guys uh, fulfill all the requirements and you yes. know so take a look at that but if you enter and you do all the good stuff you're going to get a uh, free one of these beautiful hats that we're wearing also a, a wonderful uh, co-branded uh, buff we're going to be you're going to be in a video we're going to do a full day offshore fishing and it's going to be totally sick and you're going to be in a video and you're going to hang out with us all day and we're going to hang out with you of course and that's going to be awesome and make an awesome youtube video it's going to be great yeah all right so do that yeah so <laughs> check out that information down below as always anything there that you would need is going to be there and fish angler as well we mentioned that too uh, yes we mentioned fish angler so check them out check them out it's free follow darcy for all darcy's fishing spots and other people have fishing spots on there too yeah great app all yeah. right guys Thank you so much for watching this video. We appreciate each and every one of you. And until our next awesome adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.